Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem which is a plus b bracket times a square plus b square bracket is equal to 85. a minus b bracket times a square minus b square bracket is equal to 45. To find the values of a and b such that a comma b is element of a positive integer. Now solution. From this our problem here, whereas this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. Now in the first step, we will take equation 1 divided by equation 2. So from equation 1, in the left side, it is a plus b bracket times bracket a square plus b square bracket then over equation 2 in the left side it is a minus b bracket times bracket a square minus b square bracket is equal to in the right side it will be 85 over 45 so here 85 over 45 then in the next step it will be a plus b bracket times bracket a square plus b square bracket then over here it will be a minus b bracket times here a square minus b square this is difference of two squares so this here is same as a plus b bracket times bracket a minus b bracket which is equal to here to simplify 85 divided by 45 85 is same as 17 times 5 over 45 is same as 9 times 5 so to simplify this 5 will cancel this 5 and here a plus b over a plus b so this will cancel this then it will be this here which is a square plus b square then over a minus b times a minus b it is a minus b bracket square is equal to this over this 17 over 9 then in the next step from here we'll cross multiply so it will be this times this so it will be a square plus b square bracket times 9 is equal to this times this so a minus b bracket square which is this here times 17 then here we we'll multiply by 9 inside the bracket so to be a square times 9 it is 9a square plus b square times 9 it is 9b square is equal to into here we expand this a minus b bracket square this here is same as a square minus 2ab plus b square bracket then times this 17 so it will be 9a square plus 9b square is equal to we multiply by 17 here so it will be a square times 17 is 17 a square minus 2 a b times 17 is minus 34 a b plus b square times 17 is 17 b square then in the next step we'll start by this side here then we'll take this side into this side so from this side which is 17 a square minus 34 a b plus 17 b square we we'll take this into this side so 9 a square we we'll take to this side to be minus 9 a square 9 b square we we'll take this side it will be minus 9 b square is equal to 0 so into here 
we'll take this minus this so it will be 17 a square minus 9 a square then this here minus 34 a b then we take this minus this it will be plus 17 b square then minus 9 b square is equal to this zero then in the next step from here 17 a square minus 9 a square it is 8 a square then this here minus 34 a b then 17 b square minus 9 b square it will be plus 8 b square is equal to this zero so from this our equation here into here 2 is common so we'll take 2 out of bracket then 8a square divided by 2 it is 4a square minus 34ab divided by 2 it is minus 17ab then 8b square divided by 2 here it will be plus 4b square bracket is equal to 0 then into here we'll divide by 2 in both sides so this and this will cancel then it will be this here which is 4a square minus 17 a b then plus 4 b square is equal to 0 divided by 2 it is 0 then from this quadratic equation it can be solved by grouping and factorization now whereas the product here product it is a product of coefficient of a square and coefficient of b square so it is 4 times 4 it is 16 and the sum sum is coefficient of a b which is negative 17 now to, f to find the factors here the factors here 16 is the product of negative 16 times negative 1 and here se negative 17 is the sum of negative 16 plus this negative 1 so our factors are negative 16 and negative 1 now from here it will be 4 a square minus 17 a b minus 17 a b by using these factors minus 17 a b is same as minus 16 a b minus a b minus 16 a b minus a b it is this minus 17 a b then plus this 4 b square is equal to 0 then from here this and this 4 a is common so we take out of a bracket so 4 a squared divided by 4 a it is a minus 16 a b divided by 4 a it is minus 4 b bracket then from here we take minus b out of bracket so minus a b divided by minus b it is a 4 b square divided by minus b it is minus 4 b bracket is equal to 0 then in the next step from here a minus 4 b is common so we'll take a minus 4 b bracket out of bracket then this here divide by this it is this 4 a this here divide by a minus 4 b it is this minus b bracket is equal to 0 then from here we have two solutions or two cases whereas this is equal to this so a minus 4 b is equal to 0 and you have this solution 4 a minus b is equal to 0 now into here we'll take minus 4 b to the right side so it will be a is equal to 4 b and into here we we'll take negative b to this side so it will be 4 a is equal to b now in the next step from let's use this equation here 
So we recall the equation one, whereas equation one it is this here. So from equation one, which is a plus b bracket times bracket a square plus b square bracket is equal to 85 we'll use this equation here so it will be bracket a a is equal to 4b so it will be 4b then plus this b bracket then bracket a square it will be this 4b bracket square plus this b square bracket is equal to this 85 then here it will be 4b plus b it is 5b bracket here 4b square it will be 4 square it is 16 b square then plus this b square bracket is equal to 85 then it will be 5b then times from here 16 b square plus b square it is 17 b square is equal to 85 now from here 5b times 17 b square 5 times 17 it is 85 b square times b times b square it is b power of 3 is equal to 85 so from here we will divide by 85 in both sides then to simplify this 85 will cancel 85 so it will be b power of 3 is equal to 85 cancels 85 so it is 1 so it is equal to 1 now from here we'll apply cube root in both sides so it will be b power of 3 we apply cube root is equal to cube root of this one so cube root will cancel this power of 3 so it will be b is equal to cube root of 1 it is 1 so here we will get the value of b now to find a from this our equation here a is equal to 4b so from but a is equal to 4b so it will be a is equal to 4 times b b it is 1 so it will be a is equal to 4 times 1 it is 4 so this is the value of a therefore a comma b is equal to a it is 4 comma b it is 1 whereas this a comma b is element of a positive integers so this is the final answer for the value of a comma b into this our uh, problem. Now let's check this answer if it is correct. Into here because we used this equation one. Now let's use equation two to check. So we we'll use equation two whereas equation two it is this here. So from equation two which is a minus b bracket times a square minus b square bracket is equal to 45 so here a minus b our a it is 4 minus b it is 1 so it will be 4 minus 1 bracket times bracket a square it will be 4 square minus b square it will be 1 square bracket is equal to 45 now it will be 4 minus 1 it is 3 then times here 4 square 4 square it is 16 minus 1 square it is 1 bracket is it equal to is it equal to 45 now here it will be 3 times 16 minus 1 it is 15 is it equal to 45 now 3 times 15 it is 45 is equal to 45 so left side and right side are equal 
then it is true that a comma b is L is equal to 4 comma 1 which is element of a positive integer thank you for watching don't forget these steps to miss out subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video bye bye